One of the many things I love about going to China is that when you go to a park, often you'll see a group of 70, 80, I don't know how old, but older people doing Tai Chi all together. It's beautiful to watch. And I think it represents something very profound and meaningful that we can apply, believe it or not, but towards piano technique. Um, now, I, I, uh, my father-in-law actually teaches Tai Chi, um, and I know just the most marginal amount, but I, the principle, I think, is quite important. Um, so, uh, there's a motion that you can make that looks a little bit like this. So here you have all these 70, 80, 90 year olds practicing a martial art. And uh, what's amazing to me is that when you take that motion and speed it up, it becomes a, a, a potential uh, combat form of martial art. But the principle here that I think is amazing is that whether you're doing something fast or slow, it's the same motion. Um, it's, it's a punch, but in slow motion, but it's still there. In fact, um, it's a fast punch, but in slow motion. So uh, this relates to some of the other videos I've done already and tie some of these things together. Now, um, did you know that uh, your um, elbows are a little bit like the bow on a string instrument? And uh, just um, in, I want to point out, it's beautiful that um, Spanish for elbow is El bow. Um, I'm completely joking, but um, it, it illustrates this well. What does this have to do with piano playing? Um, watch my hands and uh, let's see uh, if you can follow my right arm. And I'm going to film this from a couple of different angles. I want you to see how my arm is moving and my elbow um, as I bow the strings. Let's try another example. Now, you'll notice that I have a lot of elasticity in my arm. doing this and how does this relate to what we were just talking about? Um, I'm doing a few things here. First, um, it's really important that when I'm playing the piano in this singing style, which is such an important part of piano playing, I want to make the audience perceive the sound as singing and not as what it actually is, hammers hitting metal, a very vertical percussive event. And when I play this way, my elbow is, it's like it's bowing the strings. If I do it with my left arm, it's as if there was a string right here and my elbow was coming across and bowing that note. Now, um, does this change the sound? I would say that this marginally changes the sound um, because it's going to change the speed of my attack and the depth, which I've talked about in other videos. But what it really does is it changes the audience perception of the sound. Um, they have a sense of the sound being sustaining and horizontal and not what it actually is, which is a vertical point of attack. So when they see my elbow moving through this way, um, they have the sense of the sustain and not the sense of attack and stasis. They have a sense of progression. And that's really what the sound of the piano is doing. It's progressing, it's sustaining, it's decaying. And I'm following some of that um, uh, change in sound with my elbow. Now, um, what does this have to do with this, the idea of how I'm playing slow is the same thing that I do fast. And it's that basic idea in physics that energy cannot be destroyed, uh, it cannot be created, it's just transferred. Uh, in a previous video, I was playing some Rachmaninoff, and you'll, I had very elastic wrists, and I was doing... Do that with better notes. 
every time I made this, I followed through. Now, when I played this, it was my, this is kind of my combat martial art punch, right? It's fast motion, lots of energy. So my follow through is very rapid. Um, but when I play it slow, I do the same motion, but I follow through. Um, this both keeps me relaxed. I think it changes the sound of the piano, but it especially changes the perception of the sound of the piano. And it's a kind of, uh, I hate to say one size fits all, but the technique I'm using to play fast is the same that I use to play slowly. Uh, incorporate that into your playing and watch other pianists do this as they follow through with their elbows um, because their te technical mechanism is not just made of their fingers. Um, the fingers are actually doing um, a small amount of the work. It's these larger motions that are also facilitating ease, uh, speed, uh, um, agility, and um, and translating this idea of the sustain of the piano. It's such a critical part of singing at the instrument.